is uploading. By the way, look at this trash. I have like piles of stuff everywhere in my house. I'm kind of like a squirrel in hibernation, but I don't have an excuse because I'm a human and a higher level intelligent being and I should put things away. Now it's time to try on some swimsuits, which is probably why you clicked on this video because that's probably the title of this video. Come on, Benji. I'll let you come upstairs this time. Benji's not allowed upstairs, typically. So when he gets invited, he's very confused. <laughs> you can come, you can come watch me try and wish swimsuits. All right, I put a little, just a little bit of makeup on because I didn't want this video to get flagged as inappropriate for some viewers. But here are all the Wish swimsuits that I ordered. And there are $100 worth of Wish swimsuits here that I'm going to try on. And I'm just gonna tell you, I'm terrified. I have put my hands on every one of these swimsuits and they feel disgusting. I'm not super hopeful that I'm gonna find something here that I can actually wear. But you know what? This is my first experience with Wish. Maybe it'll surprise me. Okay. This is the first swimsuit. This might be the best one of the group, although it gives you like no shape. It kind of falls in weird places. So the fabric is really thin and it's a little too big here and I think it's because there's like an elastic piece, like, you know, like stretchy pants elastic on the back, which gives you like a lot of room that you don't necessarily need. There's a lot of fabric in this region. It feels a little bulky down there. It's also so thin, you guys. It literally feels like pantyhose. Yeah, I think it needs to come in like that much. I also can't tell if it's inside out or not. <laughs> I think it's missing some sex appeal. Ties around the neck, which is nice. If you have bigger boobs or smaller boobs, it's easy to adjust. Oh my God. Uh, okay, this swimsuit barely covers anything on my body. It's very 1970s wrestler chic meets Pornhub. This region, I think, is a little too small for me. It's also like very big in certain places and very tight in certain places, so the sizing is very off. I also cannot turn around because my butt crack is, this is like a thong. It's also very thin. Benji. He's hiding, that's how bad it looks. He's not wrong. Like I literally am so afraid to show you because this is so revealing. <laughs> Have you guys ever gotten a spray tan? They give you those little underwear that are basically the thinnest piece of tissue fabric you've ever felt. It's that, but black. This is too much. Never felt more naked in a one piece in my life. This one actually isn't terrible. The fabric is at least a little thicker than the other ones. I think this is a size entirely too small for me. I'm getting like over boob, under boob, side boob, back boob, all the boobs. I'd probably size down and the lining is coming out, which I hate that. As far as the structure and the fabric goes, this is probably the best one I've tried on so far. The coverage in the back is also very thong-like. So if you're not comfortable with wearing a thong bathing suit, I wouldn't go for this one either. Okay, I think I have found a swimsuit that fits like a normal swimsuit. I'm very surprised. It's definitely more mom vibe, but at least my vagina is not falling out. <laughs> the quality of this swimsuit is really good. It's thick. There are boob pads that are a little off. I usually take boob pads out anyway. There's also a huge wad of fabric string back here. <laughs> I do feel like this has a lot of coverage. My butt crack is not hanging out. I do think it's like a great swimsuit if you, you know, have a little food baby on the way. I am not gonna lie, I was really worried about this swimsuit. And I'm still slightly worried, but this is a lot better than I expected it to be. I really love this on the website in the photo. It is a string bikini. There is a string going up my butt crack. There's actually decent coverage in the front. I love this leopard print color and the style. I think it's really trendy. I thought I was gonna hate this, but it looks really, really good. I don't know that I'd wear this out in public, but I might use it for an Instagram photo. Other than the fact that it's a string bikini, which is not the swimsuit's fault, it's my fault for ordering it, I really love this. This one is really cute. It is a size too big for me, but other than that, the quality's pretty good. It's a little extra fabric here, but it is lined, which some of the other ones are not lined. It's obviously very tropical. I feel like it's more conservative. I feel like you could actually wear this out in public and swim in it. Keep stroking my food, baby. <laughs> and it feels like something I would get at Target. But as far as the style and the design, I really like it. I think this is worth the money. Which one do you like so far? Oh, this one? Yeah, that one's a pretty good one. 
Here's another one that's actually not bad either. It's a smidge too small for me, but there's like frontal coverage. There's some back coverage back there. There's some support. There's some like underwire things happening in this bikini top, even though it actually is it's sewn very well together. I could for sure wear this out. The straps adjust, so if you want more support, you can definitely get it. I really love the color of it. It's thinner than some of the other ones, but not as thin as the thinnest one that I have in this group. I would recommend this one. I attempted to try this swimsuit on, you guys. Um, unfortunately, there this is not enough string to go around my hips and hold <laughs> this together. Like, literally, these are the only two strings that hold this together, and it's impossible to wear. Also, look at how thin this material is. This is literally the thickness of a tissue. This is like a zero out of 10. <laughs> I can't even believe this is being sold to people. The concept for this swimsuit is here. It's high-waisted, it's neon, I love this tube top style top, but it is so poorly made. It feels like someone made it in a home ec class. You can see straight through. This top is way too saggy. It's not really made out of swimsuit material. Like I think it would disintegrate in water. Conceptually though, I wish it worked because I think this style is so cute and I am obsessed with this color. Sorry I'm squatting awkwardly. I have a very small mirror and I still have the price tag on it. Ugh, I wish this one was better quality because it is so cute on. You guys know of a place that makes a swimsuit like this that's actually a good swimsuit? swimsuit, let me know in the comments. Wow, this is just terrible. I don't know, like it's like a cross between a swimsuit and lingerie. This is bottom is way too small for me and this top is way too big. It feels like, like a diaper. The lace detailing is so cheap, it's so bad. This is like going up my butt because it's so little I barely could get it on. Whatever you do, please do not buy this swimsuit. This is just, this is just bad. <laughs> I love the color. That's the only thing to love about this. It is too big and the straps, they do adjust, but not enough to make it fit. The bottoms are way too small. Again, this is like a thong style and it's just poorly done. The thing that's so frustrating about this process is the photos look so good and these swimsuits don't even come close. Everything's gonna look as good on you as it does in photos of the model, but to like blatantly lie to people and have people spend tons of money thinking they're gonna get something good when it's such trash, I'm kind of annoyed by it. I'm really annoyed that I actually spent my own money on this. And the thing is, I could write this off on my taxes, but I feel like the government would be upset with me that I'm writing this off because these things are such poor quality. Do not buy <laughs> swimsuits from this website. It is so bad. Okay, it's been quite a minute. It's been hours actually since I vlogged. I had a meeting tonight that went very long. And then I found out that Benji's dog trainer fired him. Apparently the trainer doesn't really like attorneys and Matt was not willing to negotiate on these terms. So we got a new dog trainer. Now I'm home with the Benj. He's got my sock. He's not supposed to have this sock. And Matt apparently got slammed at work. He's trying to settle a deal with someone who's in Budapest. This evening has been a little bit crazy for the Robinsons. I have edited the vlog that went ahead of this one. So I think I'm gonna treat myself with some Handmaid's Tale. I haven't caught up in the last episode and I heard it's a doozy according to Tracy Stone. So I'm going to pour myself a glass of wine because Lord knows I have earned it today and watch The Handmaid's Tale. Just wallow in someone else's fictional misery. Maybe I'll eat some cereal. By the way, I have not eaten any of the barbecue chicken that I cooked. You know like when you cook something and then all of a sudden it stops sounding good because you cooked it? Like if my mom had cooked it or like a chef had cooked the exact same thing, I would be like, oh my gosh, can't wait to go home and eat that barbecue chicken. But because I did it with these like very average cooking hands, I'm just like, meh, maybe I'll just eat some hummus. Sometimes I like to just torment my dog by singing songs that have his name in it. Benji the dog, he's the bestest dog in the whole dog world. Benji to the rescue, you will not find a better friend. It was the 
the best episode of the season so far. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off because my dog needs a lot of attention. I'm waiting for my husband to get home and I'm kind of delusional. So let me know in the comments what you wanna see during Vlogist and subscribe to this channel, like this video, and enough. That's it, bye!